What's up you guys and thank you for joining From Tired to Train. Cause you know, it's where we get those tired bodies fit and those tired brains functional. So due to popular demand, I'm going to show you guys how to make thumbnails that look like this or this easily with no software needed and best yet for free. So stay tuned, let's check it out. So welcome back everyone. So if you take a look at the thumbnail on the screen right now, this is exactly the type of thumbnail that I'm going to show you how to make using Canva and editphotosforfree.com. Now don't forget, if you want to see more tutorials or reviews, definitely go ahead and smash the hell out of that subscribe button. Show your boy some support. All right, so the first step is we're going to go ahead and visit the website editphotosforfree.com. Now, when you arrive to this site, there's no sign up needed. <laughs> yes, you got to love that absolutely no sign up needed so now go ahead and click on the remove background now you're going to see some instructions pretty much the yellow is for the edges the green is for what you want and the red is for what you want to take out in our case that's going to be the background so close that for now because i'm going to explain the rest so right away you're going to see the toolbar with all the icons that you need now let's go ahead and either select the set image button or do the drag and drop now if you know me i rather drag and drop so i'm going to go ahead and do that now all right, so now that we got the image in the program, let's go ahead and start removing the background. So we're gonna go ahead and just zoom in a bit and then we're gonna click the yellow brush first in order to do the edges. Now you'll notice when you're doing the edges, you don't necessarily have to be on the outside of the edge. Use the circle in the inner yellow in order to guide half on half. So half on the background and half on your actual image. I find it works way better when you do it this way. Now go ahead and use the red to mark what you don't want and use the green to mark the things that you do want. At this point, you're done. So just go ahead and click the play button and watch it process. Now this part can take anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes, depending on how large the image size is. And then bam, there you have it. No more background in that picture, just the image of me, for example, itself. Now for this particular thumbnail, I wanna make it look as if my hands are actually holding the word Canva. So in that case, I'm gonna to need to do this just one more time. So I'm gonna speed up this process since I've already showed you guys how to do it but still at the same time show you that I'm still using this tool to get it done. So quickly, the same thing. We're going to use the yellow in order to go around the edges of the hand in this case, and then we're going to use the green for what we want and then the red for what we don't want and then hit the play button. All right, so now let's go ahead and make our thumbnail. So go ahead and open Canva, go to canva.com. Now, if you haven't used Canva before and want a full basic tutorial on how to do that, you might want to pause the video here and check out the video above. However, for the most part, I'm going to show you how to complete that full thumbnail that I showed you at the beginning of this video. So first, go ahead and upload all the images that you need for the thumbnail. Now let's get the rest started here. So first I'm gonna start with adding my background for my thumbnail videos. I like to use my YouTube page for the background. I just think it makes more sense that way. So at this point I'm gonna go ahead and click on elements and then click on shapes. And if you guys know me, my go-to shape is the one with the round edges, the square. So I'll click that and I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it out now and then change the color to a blackish color um, and as well fade it out a bit because you know I still want to see the thumbnails in the back of course. Now once that's done I'll go back over to my uploads and then first I'm going to select the picture of myself. I'm going to position it the way that I'd like. All right, and don't forget you have your filter option. So I'm going to go ahead and add some contrast to that. I'm going to brighten it a bit and add the saturation. That's pretty much the only filter options that I play around with when it comes to editing my pictures. Now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and click the text option. And I'm going to select add header. This I'm going to use to type in the word Canva. And then of course, I'm going to change the color to white and I'm going to change the font to the one I like, as well change the font size. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and tilt it a bit and drag it over to where I would like it in place for my hand to hold it. So once we have that the way you like it, I'm going to go back over to uploads and I'm going to click the hand image that we created 
and I'm going to simply just drag it over to my image and try my best to match it up with both images. So you never notice that both images were separated at all. Now, of course, I'm going to go to the filter and I'm going to change the filter options again. So that way it matches everything to the back image correctly. You guys can already start to see how it looks like I'm holding the word Canva. Right, so this is exciting. I mean, this is being done without no Adobe Photoshop, without downloading any type of software. So you know already that's a big bonus. So now that we got that part banging, let's go ahead and add some more elements and text to this thumbnail. Now I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this part because as I mentioned, I've already did a tutorial on how to use Canva from a basic level. So if you haven't seen that and you'd like to learn a bit more of what I'm doing here, definitely click the link above or check out the links in the description below. Now, the next major thing that I wanted to get to here is sometimes when people are using Canva, they notice that you can't really outline the text or add a drop shadow. So what I'm going to do is show you guys the way I do it. So go ahead and click on the text and click on copy. And then now go ahead and change the text color to black and then slide the text a little bit over to the left and then go up to a range and send it back. So now you see you've added back shadow to your text, which allows it to pop a lot more in your thumbnail. So don't forget, if you like this video so far, do go ahead and smash that thumbs up. So continue to fix it up the way you like, add more text, elements, whatever you want in your thumbnail. Once you're done, you can go ahead at the top right hand corner and name your file and then click download. So there you guys have it, the advanced level on how to make your banner like a pro. If you want to know about different fonts that you can use, definitely check out the video above or in the link below. I got some cool stuff there as well. Also, if you have any requests on any type of tutorial or how to, definitely comment below and I'll check it out and see what I can do for you. So there you guys have it, how to make better thumbnails using two websites absolutely for free and getting the same results as this thumbnail. So if you do need any other help, do comment below. And if you found this video helpful, do smash the thumbs up button. And don't forget, do subscribe and do smash that bell for updates. Until next time, peace out.